हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जे एंड के एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टुडे आई विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट बैक्टीरियल लाइफ प्रोसेस फंक्शंस फॉर एग्जांपल रेस्पिरेशन न्यूट्रिशन एंड रिप्रोडक्शन आई विल डिस्कस ऑल ऑफ देम वन बाय वन I will start with respiration. On the basis of respiration, bacteria can be divided into two groups, aerobes and anaerobes. And each group is further divided into two types, obligate and facultative. Let's discuss with the first category, obligate are strict aerobes these bacteria can live only in the presence of oxygen and if oxygen is absent they cannot survive example of such bacteria is bacillus subtilis another category is facultative anaerobes this category they can survive normally in the presence of oxygen but if oxygen is absent they can still survive such class is known as facultative anaerobes and the example is pseudomonas the third category is obligate are strict anaerobes these bacteria can respire anaerobically only that means they cannot survive in presence of oxygen example of the bacteria is clostridium botulinum last category is facultative aerobes these can normally respire and aerobically but are capable of respiring aerobically also that means if oxygen is present they can still survive so the example is photosynthetic bacteria chlorobium next topic is nutrition in bacteria on the basis of mode of nutrition bacteria can be divided into three categories number 1 autotrophs number 2 heterotrophs and number 3 symbiotic bacteria so firstly autotrophs these bacteria use light or chemical energy for food synthesis on the basis of source of energy autotrophs have two categories the first category is photosynthetic autotrophs these bacteria use light energy for food synthesis photosynthetic pigments are present in the cytoplasma for photosynthesis in these bacteria photosynthesis is non oxygenic example of photosynthetic bacteria is chromatium chlorobium and rhodospirulum now chemosynthetic autotrophs these are non photosynthetic autotrophs that means photosynthetic pigments are absent they use chemical energy instead of light energy for food synthesis chemical energy is obtained from oxidation of chemical compounds example of chemosynthetic autotrophs is nitrifying bacteria like nitromonas or nitrococcus the next category is heterotrophs 
most of the bacteria are heterotrophs heterotrophs are those organisms that cannot synthesis their own food and they are dependent on others for nutrition they live on dead organic matter or living organisms and receive their nutrition from there under this category we have further two subtypes first one is saprotrophic bacteria these bacteria obtain food from dead and decaying organic matter they have further two types obligate saprotrophic these obtain food only from dead organic matter they are completely saprotrophs example is bacillus vulgaris the other category is facultative parasites these are normally saprophytic in nature but in absence of dead organic matter they can become parasitic example is pseudomonas the second category parasitic bacteria they obtain their food from living organisms further they have two types obligate parasitic sites they always remain parasitic example is mycobacterium lapri it is responsible for causing disease leprosy the second category is facultative saprotrophs these are normally parasitic in nature but in absence of living host they may become saprotrophs example is mycobacterium tuberculosis it is a agent for causing tuberculosis the last category is symbiotic bacteria they have a symbiotic relationship with other organisms for example rhizobium lives in symbiotic relationship with pea plant and traps the atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia and nitrates that is useful for plants in my next topic i will discuss bacterial reproduction thank you for listening in case you have missed any of the lecture you can go to my website that is www.amarpreetko.com at and download lecture from there